Hey guys, have you played Wordle yet? If not, you should. It's great. We're a bit obsessed with it here at Wise Owl. It's a free online game, and every day there's a different five-letter word you've got to guess. You've got six attempts to do it in. So, for example, here I could enter the best possible word, which would, of course, be Excel. And when I enter the word, the game tells me how close my guess is to the real word. Clearly I've done a terrible job here, because when everything remains grey, it means none of those letters are in the word. It is the sort of game that makes you wish you knew more words. So let's enter that as my next guess and see if I can get any closer. That's a bit better. The green letter indicates I've got the right letter in the right place. The yellow letter indicates the right letter, but in the wrong place. So it's closer, but still wrong. Let's enter wrong as the next guess. That's getting pretty close now. Lots of green letters appearing. So I think there's probably only one possible final answer there. And when I get the entire thing correct, I get a satisfying little ripple animation, a little progress chart indicating my history and how my guess pattern has gone, and the probably best part of the entire thing, the ability to share your results on social media. If you're on an iOS or an Android device, this links directly to your social media platforms. Here in a desktop web browser, it just copies the results to the clipboard, but I can still paste these into a social media post or into an email. And if I had any friends, I could send it to them. Maybe I'll send it to my colleagues or to my mum. She's always impressed by how clever I am. The genius thing about this, I think, is that you can share how well you did without revealing the word of the day, as everyone in the world has to guess the same word. If you want an idea of how popular the game is at the moment, all you need is a quick Google search. And you'll find that pretty much every man and his dog is talking about Wordle at the moment, including Google themselves. Look, they've got their Google Doodle updated to, uh, to a Wordle style. So as the entire world appears to be trying to ride the hype train, here at Wise Al, we thought we'd jump on the bandwagon a little bit. Nothing like a shameless bit of self-promotion, I think. So we decided we'd like to try to recreate this game in various different software packages that we teach. So Andy Brown, who you might know from the Python tutorial series on this channel, is trying to make a, a Python version. Sam, who is um, runs our sister channel, Wise Al Shorts, is trying to make a version in Power BI. It's pretty impressive, actually. Most of that's done with DAX measures. Um, so although it's not the most faithful recreation of the game, it's pretty impressive what he's managed to accomplish. I, of course, decided that I wanted to make my version in Excel VBA. So here's a quick look at what I've managed to accomplish. It doesn't look too dissimilar. I was trying to go for a fairly faithful recreation of the game. So there's a little help panel, just in case you weren't sure how to play it, which looks the same as the one that you get in the official game. There's a settings button where you can enable hard mode and change to colorblind mode. The thing that I didn't manage to get working, sadly, I ran out of time before my deadline, was the dark theme. I kind of wished I'd used cell styles rather than the, uh, the hard-coded colour schemes that I used. But you still have a bit of fun toggling the button, at least. Um, but it doesn't actually do anything other than that. So, the idea is that, once again, if I close down the settings panel, I can enter guesses into my game grid. So let's go with the same pattern I just used for the, uh, for the official version. We'll go with Excel first. Oh, I've... Um, found how the uh, how the game picks its words, so it uses the same words each day as the official game does. So, spoiler warning, by the way, if you're going to use my version, make sure you've played the official version first, otherwise you'll ruin the fun for yourself. So, Excel was wrong. Let's go for words next. And then I can go for wrong. And then I can go for the correct word which was wrong, and when I enter that, it should pop up eventually with a little results panel. It will keep track of your history, by the way, so the more you play, it saves your results every day and gives you a, a bar chart indicating how well you've done through time. And the share button, again, copies the results to the clipboard, it does it in a slightly different way to the way the official game works, but the end results, if I enter that into my email, look pretty similar. Uh, the asterisk there indicates I was playing in hard mode rather than standard easy mode. So anyway, we all had quite a bit of fun making our various different versions of the game. And we'll add some blog articles which explain in a bit more detail how things work and make these versions available for you to download and poke around with as well. So if you wanted to download this version, you'll find a link in the video description. And if you want to get into the code behind the scenes, then you'll need a single password. If I just head back into Excel and then I head to the developer tab and open up the Visual Basic Editor. 
and then when I try to open the project, it asks for a password, which is Wordle in all lowercase, but shh, keep it secret, keep it safe, don't spread this around, guys. Um, and when you hit OK, it'll allow you access to the various different game objects. So the whole bunch of different modules in there, most things are driven basically from the selection change event of the game sheet. So if I double click on that to open it up, you can see hopefully really the only thing it actually does is calls another procedure, check clicked cell. There's a little bit of code here that just for aesthetic reasons and more than anything else, changes the selection back to cell A1. It also allows you to select the same letter twice in a row. Uh, so the selection change event is triggered when you change the cell that's selected. So we needed to make sure you didn't have the same letter selected each time you'd made a guess. Anyway, if you want to trace the way this code works, the easiest thing to do once you find a procedure that it's calling, like check clicked cell, is to right click on that and then choose definition. And that'll take you to the beginning of the procedure that will then trigger the rest of the code. So there's quite a lot of procedure calls in this workbook and lots and lots of different separate subroutines make up the whole. If you try to trace the entire thing line by line, it'll take you some time, but hopefully you can spot the important parts of the code. I'll freely admit it's not the most efficient, beautiful code. Haven't had time to go back and optimize it. There's lots of redundancy in there, I'm sure. I've done certain things in an inefficient way, but as I say, there was a bit of a deadline to get this working. So, um, so yeah, I haven't done everything I actually wanted to. Anyway, feel free to poke around in there and make improvements to it, adapt to the game. If you don't like the words it's picking, you can update the word list, etc., etc. As I say, the ultimate aim of this wasn't to make money directly. Although, as I said, hopefully the, uh, the shameless self-promotion will, uh, will help a little bit. The aim, just like the, uh, the original version, the, the, the creator Josh Wardle, yes, that is his real name, um, doesn't want to make any money directly from his game. It's always free, always un-ad supported. So um, it's just for fun, basically. So hopefully you can have some fun with it as well. Poke around in the code, make changes, learn something from it, just don't try and sell it. So anyway, hopefully you can find some way to have fun with it one way or another. If you're just going to play the game and you want to share the results with us, then feel free to make use of the result sharing feature. You could head back to the statistics panel and then click the share button to share your results. Head back to the settings panel to get access to the Wiseal Twitter feed. Probably better not to email us with endless results from Wordle. Um, and then drop us a tweet or post some comments below to let us know what you get up to with the game. Um, have fun with it in some way. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.